My name is Wendy Brown. My name is Dondi Brown. And I am a Habitat homeowner. We moved in here in 2004, so this year is 20 years in November. We started off as a, as a friendship. <laughs> Did you think you were ever going to fall in love? No, no, no. Both of us had just finished relationships and we were like, okay, we're done. We're, we don't need to date anymore. <laughs> we both said that. I started doing Habitat with um, two of my sisters. One particular Saturday, uh, Wendy comes in on a job site. <laughs> she needed a team to be with, so uh, when she came in, me and my sister decided, well, she could be on our team. I was becoming a Habitat homeowner. He was helping his sister put in the hours for her sweat equity, and I was putting in the hours for my sweat equity. The first weekend we met, I told you, was February 7th. The second weekend was Valentine's Day, February 14th. We went to work on that Saturday morning, and one of the houses that we were chosen to work on just happened to have a pink room. I uh, automatically volunteered Wendy to help me paint that pink room, which was kind of cute because she had this startled look on her face like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there were signs all along that we were going to end up dating. dating yeah. We didn't even know them. The first sign was the very first day we met. We finished painting the kitchen and Keith, the construction manager, asked if there would be any volunteers to go back to the um, warehouse and wash off all the, the paint brushes. And the three of us, his sister, he and I, all volunteered to go do that. And while we were there, I apparently had too much paint on my hands. Sticks out his hand and he, he takes my hand and he goes, let me wash the paint off your hands. I was innocent. I was helping wash the paint off her hands. And then the next weekend we met again at Madison Avenue to paint the pink room. But we were spending just about every Saturday meeting at different job sites and helping build the houses, meeting the other volunteers. By being a supporter of Habitat, whether it's going to a job site and volunteering, painting inside a, a house on a wall, picking up hammer and nails and, and going outside and, and helping do any of that, just shoveling dirt, it helps give people a chance who may not have had a chance to thrive. It gave me joy in helping other people, um, like my sister. Uh, it's fun watching your nieces and nephews grow up who grew up in a habitat environment. So up to today, it's, it's amazing to stop to think about what habitat has done for people. When, when they handed me the keys to this house, I didn't feel the stress that I had before. I didn't worry about, are, are my kids gonna be okay that I knew they would be okay I knew that my kids they, they had their own space to, to, to be creative explore their own ideas and thoughts and and, and not have to <laughs> be cramped up with each other so we dated for nine years before we got married he nominated me to be his girlfriend oh. and then to be his wife I never asked her to be my girlfriend I actually walked up to her and said, hey, Wendy, I'm nominating you to be my girlfriend. And she said, okay. It's the same day I asked her. She was leaving without saying goodbye, and I walked up to her car after she got in, and I said, well, since you're my girlfriend, don't I at least get a kiss goodbye? And she gets this really puzzled look on her face, and she says, uh, okay. So she kissed me. I never... Uh, proposed to her. I just said, Wendy? She says, what? I says, I'm nominating you to be my wife. And she says, okay. <laughs> and that's pretty much how that ended up. <laughs> and here we are. Yes, and here we are. There you go.